Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Isn't it, though? Feels good. More on trivia in one hour. What's the matchup today, Keith? Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, there it is. is. Chiefs-Ravens. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Chiefs-Ravens. I'm going to go Chiefs would be the logical choice, right? Yeah. 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 But. uh, I mean, they're undefeated. More on trivia. (laughs) A whopping 1-0. They're on a one-game winning streak. The Ravens are 0-1. The numbers don't lie. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) And, of course, when the Chiefs and Ravens get together, um, you can throw out all the record books. That's for darn sure. (laughs) Uh, 888-900-3393, also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, our fearless leader, Joe Biden, um, seems to have some ruin, issues. Ruining the country? Mm, oh, definitely He's good at that. the country. He's yeah. not good at speaking. He did is he, good at destroying did America. Did he tell us more lies? Uh, he, that's I all he does. Uh, thank you. I was just going to say, I don't know that he knows how to actually tell the truth. That's all that stinking guy does. He, do, he lies about everything. Everything, where he worked, mm-hmm. where he got jobs, where he was mm-hmm. offered jobs. He can't even be truthful about that. What, what, what the uh, guy did that uh, ran into his wife. Remember that? I mean, yes. He, he, he can't write speeches. Remember that? He plagiarized that 88 yes. campaign. Dude, you're right. He cannot mm-hmm. tell the truth. Right. I, 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 I never. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You I never? Ne- was there more to that? I never? And then that's it. I thought you were going to end go of into sentence? videos. But yeah, he was. That's he was fine. Well, I was waiting he for the never, end of your profound right. statement here. You never, and then it was hear over. him <laughs> tell the I, truth. I never. I mean that that, that used to be a, that used to be a, an often used line in cinema. <laughs> I never. Well, I you. never. So See? that's what you meant. Yes. Yeah, I think okay. it was just a professional right. we'll handoff there. Good. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, he's making a lot of sense on a lot of different things. Uh, he Whoa, was, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about the the vaccines. For you know the with the companies of a hundred or more employees, oh. had some uh, more information on that. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the sound clip that's titled uh-huh. "Incoherent Biden." That's the one. <laughs> uh, and requiring employers okay. with over a hundred employees to institute vaccine and or mm. uh, test protocols, oh. calling on for mm. them to be able to know what their employers their employees are doing before they walk through the door. Got it. Wait, what? Got it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sharpest attack, as Ooh, always. Sucks. Is that? I, well, it's dementia. It's dementia. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, I give you my word as a Biden. <laughs> At least he doesn't have an important job, though. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. He's got something where you, you know, the kind of job where you don't even notice it. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, the New York Times doesn't even know this is happening, and neither does oh, CNN. Yeah, no kidding. And so he hides it really sure well. Sure does. Sure does. Really, really well. Yeah. Uh, but he can't hide the coughing quite as well. Um, there's something going on. Have you noticed the coughing situation? A little bit. I mean, the other day was out of control. Right? Here he is talking about uh, people's health. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> Here governor he is. Gavin Newsom, mm. the best governors in the country. Really? California, I'm not sure you know it, but if you didn't know it, you should. It's an 80 oh. state. <laughs> meanwhile, <That's weird. laughs> meanwhile, oh, oh boy, for these Republican governors, it isn't about public health. Oh no, <laughs> oh, about the health of the people. It's about politics. In Mississippi, <clears throat> children are required to be vaccinated God. against measles. Mumps, uh-huh. rubella, chicken pox, hepatitis B, whooping cough, tetanus, <laughs> and more. It's a state requirement. <laughs> but now, in the midst of this pandemic mm-hmm. yeah. that has taken uh-huh. over 650,000 lives, Dude, drink look, a, folks, take a sip of water or something. <laughs> we don't need politics in this battle against COVID. Mm. We need science. We need courage. We need leadership. We need a lozenge. We need Gavin uh, Newsom. Uh, uh, Bottle of water. <laughs> you're supposed to drink more water with that Governor, medication you're on anyway. Oh yeah. Follow science. Who's got the courage? Follow science. To do what's is... right. <laughs> and who lead? And I oh. apologize. Uh-huh. Oh, he found there some water. Go. There we go. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we. <laughs> we know. 
I'm coughing. That's what the science tells us. Um, <laughs> we have to beat the Delta variant of COVID-19. Right. Gavin, <coughs> the governor, <coughs> help us finish the job. Mm-hmm. Folks. Folks. And then, and then he started coughing again. Uh, so NBC's uh, Kelly O'Donnell Uh-oh. asked Jen Psaki about it yesterday. And what's the deal Uh-oh. with this with the coughing spasms? Uh-oh. What's going on there? Oh, and that went a little something. Commodore sixty four is loading like this. Mm-hmm. Darn that thing! Just hang Darn on, it. hang on, it's coming, it's coming. You know, the Commodore sixty four was what seventy nineteen seventy eight. We should probably update it since uh, I I I'm not in charge of the budget. Huh. Okay. I don't know how to answer that. So, uh, by the way, he better start feeling well. Uh, well. We'll get into it later, I'm sure. But he's got an important meeting coming up real soon uh, with Nicki Minaj. Oh, is oh that? Oh my God! Has that been confirmed? Yeah, she because the White House was last denying night. it. Uh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. They were saying they don't have any anything set up okay. with her. Okay, it's ready to go, by the way, if you want to hear Kelly O'Donnell's question. One very different separate. Many of us were in the East Room watching the president. Mm -hmm. We've seen him on many occasions where he has a repeated cough. What is the situation with that cough, and is that a concern? Uh, it's not a concern. No, we have a no. doctor who travels with him, uh, obviously, who I checks in if, if there it so is ever warranted. Uh, and certainly that continues to, to be the case, uh, as it has been since the beginning of his presidency. Is there an explanation for why he coughs so frequently in situations like that? I'm sure you saw it. Uh, I did. I, I don't think it's an issue of concern. No, I think uh, there are concern. a range of reasons why we may need to clear our throat or we oh. may have a little oh. light cold. Oh. Uh, get and out that's of certainly here. something that presidents, elected officials, reporters, uh, spokespeople uh, can confront. But it's not an area where we have a medical concern. Uh-huh. Okay. What or is, maybe tuberculosis. What, what area, uh, what I don't medical know. concern do you have of the president? Yeah. That, Jen? That's not the biggest concern anyway. And it's amazing that they noticed the cough. You don't notice the dementia? <laughs> Jeez. You don't notice really? the lies? The lies over and over and over again. You don't notice the fact that the guy can't remember the name of the of the leader of Australia when he's going to talk to him? No, it's, it's Come my on. pal. Yeah, I'm I'm from down the fellow, the down fellow under. down under. From down you know, under. Uh, I'm I'm proud of Jen Psaki there for not going full Solalinsky as she normally does, and she turns it around on the person yeah. asking yeah. the question. Have you ever coughed? Right, that's what I, I was sitting there waiting in that clip because I hadn't seen that. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Now she did say, I mean, reporters cough, yeah. so that's as close as she got. But that's the she first time that. she hasn't in a long time since I can remember turned it right directly on the reporter. Kelly, I'm sure you've coughed before. No, she's got the 13 rules down. Oh, of yeah. the oh, Solalins radical situation. And they are situation. in full view every oh, press every briefing. Every freaking day mm-hmm. she does it. Yeah, why, why? I bet you never cough. Do you, Kelly? <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's like. That is what I know. she is like. I know. Every day. I mean, it's despicable. It is. It, it really is. It's, it's, they, these are just the worst people in the history of the planet. Well, okay. They've led this country. Oh, okay, they're worse than the Nazis? They're closing in on that. <laughs> they are clo- Rapidly. And it's not that long before they round us up and put us in camps. I know. Right? I mean, would that that wouldn't surprise me at this point. I just want to nope. be in the Rocky Mountains is all. That's, can I just... In a camp in the Rocky yeah, Mountains? Yeah, like if, if I get mm-hmm. any say in where I'm relocated to. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't worry, you won't. What do you mean? Where am I going to be? Not getting a say of where you're going. Oh. We'll take you where the hell we want. <laughs> and in the winter months, maybe. you might not want to be in the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. No they're skiing. not going to provide us with a lot of warm clothing in the Rocky Mountains. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure about that. We are we are uh, getting closer and closer because that yeah, Cold War are. is... Yes, we are. It's getting hot, especially in public places where the, the, the self-righteous vaxxed are mm-hmm. going after the unvaxxed and the mm-hmm. unmasked and all that stuff. Yeah, it's getting uh, it's getting interesting. It's out getting there. really bad, <laughs> and that's exactly what people like Joe Biden want. And then you know, people <clears throat> who are beloved in this culture uh, start to ask some questions, and that's when you know how bad this stuff is. Like Nicki Minaj, okay, people love her. The young people love her. The millennials love her. I'm sure that the the White House loves her. But now she's asking questions, yeah. now and I we love can't her. have that. We can't have that. <laughs> and now she's listening to people that you wouldn't expect her to listen to necessarily. Mm. I mean, I don't know Nicki Minaj's politics, 
I don't, I don't follow her that way. I couldn't name you a Nicki Minaj song. Is there a Nicki Minaj what? song? What? That anybody knows? You don't have. Are you a big Nicki fan? Min- oh man. Yeah. What's your you favorite Nicki Minaj me. song, Jeffy? Uh, do that to me. Do that. <laughs> do that to me is my. Is favorite that even Nicki a song, song by her? No. Okay. You know it's not. That was a good shot in the dark. <laughs> I mean, you got close. I mean, there is. Bang bang. That's where she says do that to me. Is that right? Oh, okay. I thought that was uh, the name of that song. I mean, I'm also a big fan of I'm legit, right? You like that yeah, song? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who you're is a big fan of, who isn't a big fan of I'm legit? I'm legit, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you know, there's, there's super there's bass. Super bass? I'm gosh, that Or is it bass? Is it bass or bass? Is it B A S S? Yeah, it's a fishing song. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that's okay. what it you, is. you got it. It's a, it's a fishing song, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, Super, super trout. Base. No, super trout. Mm. Uh, anaconda, anaconda, starships only. Not saying that one. Anyway, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good songs. Okay. But anyway, she's just questioning. Anyway, she's, she's telling people. She's asking and, questions. And she's saying, How dare make, you? your own, make your own choice. Yes. Well, you can't. No, the government's got to make this choice for yeah. you. That's the only acceptable path here is that you do what you're told and you shut your mouth. And you don't put anything about it on Twitter. And even if you have a nasty-ass reaction to this thing, then you don't talk about it. Nope. Don't you dare talk about it. It's, it's really amazing. So anyway, she was actually kicked off Twitter for asking the questions sure about that, the vaccine. Sure yep, that yep they silenced mistake, her. Though. I'm sure that and was I'm just, not, a just That's a mistake. That's one of our many mistakes that we make. Our yeah. bad. When anybody criticizes this government, sometimes we make mistakes. That was just an algorithm issue, and we fixed that. <laughs> uh, we fixed that, right? Darn algorithm. So she's again. back on now, right? She, yeah, yeah, but then she had to go to Instagram to, to make this point uh, after she got silenced on right. Twitter. Here it is. You can't speak. For the fear of the mob attacking you. Right. Thank you. If that doesn't give you chills up and down your f***ing spine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is scary. Yeah, welcome, Nikki. Welcome to the right. <laughs> Jeez. You should be able to ask questions about anything you're putting inside your body. Yeah, different when it comes back around we, to you. We, though, can, we ask a bunch of questions about... Mm-hmm. About the most simple thing. Oh, bitch, how that how that glue work? Do that glue do that do that glue really um keep the wig down for how many hours? Oh, cause if I go in a pool and if I sweat it off and bitch, how that? But you can't just innocently <laughs> Thank you. ask a question. How many times have you asked a about question about so many? Body? So many. Thank you. Uh-huh. Do y'all realize that? I remember going to China and they were telling us, you know, be. You cannot speak out against, um, you know, the the people in power there, etc. Mm-hmm. And I remember all of us thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, we understand and we respect the the laws here, and and you know that it's so different where we live. Is it? Don't y'all see what's fucking <laughs> happening? Don't y'all see that we are living now in that time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, we, yes, do. we do. People will yes, turn we do. Their we back do. On Nikki, you. I'm not agreeing, but people will isolate you if you simply speak and ask a question. Yeah, uh, the people that she's actually reaching out to and making that plea for, they don't give a rat's anus what she's saying. They don't care, and none of that will have any effect on them. They'll just attack her all the more strongly. Well, you'd say that. But there's been some people on her side, though. Yeah. Have there now? Yeah. I mean, they've protested yeah. in front of the CDC. I love it. This is yeah. great. So some people showed up at the CDC and protested? Yeah. yeah. Watch this. A couple yeah. days. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. What brings you here? We are here because CDC has been lying to us for so mm. long. Nicki Minaj fans in Atlanta say they trust her medical advice about the COVID-19 <laughs> oh, vaccine. stop it. <laughs> Nicki, the queen of rock. Stand up. Nikki, multiple platinum plaques, yes. stood up and said, <laughs> I'm questioning this vaccine, and like we should it. all question this vaccine. Fans even showed up to the Center for Disease Control headquarters on Wednesday in Durant Hills to show support for the platinum rapper's yeah. latest tweets. This one is for the boys with the boom system, Pop Town AC. She claimed her cousin's friend in Trinidad had a bad reaction to the vaccine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there uh. we go. 
Okay. Yeah, and by the way... And if, how dare she claim that, by right. the way. And and nice try at coloring the news there I know. with her medical advice uh-huh. of Nicki yes. Minaj. And and if you're going to be a local reporter in Atlanta, please don't call it Druid Hills. It's it's easy. It's Druid Hills. I don't. I mean that that really bugged me from that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm hung up on that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't don't uh, seriously. Mm-hmm. That 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 is a local reporter that can't pronounce. That's got to be the biggest pet peeve of a news director. When, when yeah. you have a, you hire mm-hmm. a reporter and they can't even pronounce the towns that they live near. Stop it. Pathetic. Yeah. Well, it's a bad report, start to finish, because yeah, yes. they did try to taint her mm-hmm. with the sure medical did. thing. Are you listening to her medical? She's not giving you medical advice. She brought something up. That from somebody that was a relative of hers, somebody had a reaction, and she mentioned it. Yep. How dare she? Yeah. How dare she? Now, That's not giving medical advice. And, and after after the reporter makes that point mm-hmm. about, uh, you know, they took her medical advice, then they play that clip of that lady yelling. What was she yelling? Um, I don't know if it's queued up, but uh, she yelled like, Queen of Rock, placky plaque. What was she saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Placky plaque? I don't, plaque? Know. Like, I don't so know. So they, 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 get up. Nikki, multiple platinum plaques. Yes. Plaque, Shut up. Multiple and plaques. said, I'm questioning this vaccine. <laughs> and we should... okay. I don't know that that's a female. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, yeah, sure it is. Yeah, it is. So anyway, okay. so. Excuse me, it's man. <laughs> it is. is man. So then she uh, tweets last night. She's got mm-hmm. been invited to the White House and she's going to go. But you're saying there's an update on that? Well, I'm just saying the White House initially was denying it. Denying it. Taking place. Um, maybe they're admitting it now. I don't, I don't know. Because... She says, oh, she says the White House has invited me, <clears throat> and I think it's a step in the right direction. Yes, I'm going. I'll be dressed in all pink, like <laughs> legally blonde. Nice. As they know I mean business. Yeah. Well, yeah, if she dresses in all, all sure. pink, you know she means business. Oh, that's I'll, ask, Mickey, man. I'll ask questions on behalf of the people who have been made fun of for simply being human. Good for you. Mm. Yeah, initially the White House said, yeah, we're not. there's no meeting. So I don't know if they've changed that or not. I don't know. Yeah, I'm we'll trying see. to figure that out. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, oh, my gosh. On Tuesday, Fauci... And I, wait, oh, that was... He's talking about something else. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I hope so. And she she solicited for questions. Hey, what should I ask at the White House, y'all? You know, put it in the comments. So go to Nicki Minaj. And I'm then. sure they'll placate her. Absolutely. I, I'm sure that they've got uh, a whole program planned you have you know they do I mean, she'll be lucky to actually get five minutes with the mm-hmm. president mm-hmm. and she'll go through the re-education process yeah and she'll come out on the other side all about the vaccine yeah you're right though the white you house says bet. it's a phone call yeah with a doctor I see mean, what is yeah that? i don't know i, I th- don't th- know wow this is going to get even worse for the white house yeah, now, yeah if, if, they they, if this doesn't happen right oh no kidding. <laughs> she's got but I don't know. 180 care. million uh, followers. I don't on know. Social but I, media. I'm supposedly. one of them now. 180 million. <laughs> yeah. God, that's she'd be. Her followers would be like the third or fourth largest country on earth. <laughs> that's wow. incredible. Wow. That's really incredible. Uh, wait, how many did you say? 180 million. Okay. That must, that is must, that just all, must be all across. All, yeah, it's all across all social yeah. media, okay. not just Twitter. Gotcha. Okay. It's Twitter, Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook, that kind of. thing. It's kind of like yeah. you. You know, she's ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's like good. You're, you're everywhere. That's good word for it. For it. Mr. I don't know Socials. if Nikki's on LinkedIn or not these days, <laughs> but uh, LinkedIn is actually. I mean, they're part of the social media they are. mafia now too. Yes, they are. You know, we had uh, Wrightstone here the other day, uh, Wednesday. Uh, and LinkedIn that afternoon pulled the plug on him. What? what? Took him off. When he, and he, he they, they they, really? they're not letting him back on. It's the power of this show. You got to be kidding LinkedIn me. LinkedIn watches. They said, oh, yeah. man, he's associated with that crazy guy, Pat Gray. Uh, uh, get him pulled. off. Plug pulled. Get him off. That's incredible. Huh. Mm. I didn't realize LinkedIn was of oh, that yeah. mindset. Oh, they've done oh, stuff like that yeah, before. Big yeah, time. But no, I, I'm oh, sure that's. I don't know. I don't know how. Close. It's actually a treat to be pulled off LinkedIn. There's such a <laughs> does that mean it, service. It, did the email stop then? <laughs> I don't. I'm, I, I'm in. I doubt it. I'm in. I, doubt it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that Greg has uh, you know Nicki Minaj numbers. Right. Probably not. I, I mean, not quite. Ballpark. Ball. Same ballpark. I mean, mm-hmm. I know I'm you know a little under. Are you on, on my accounts? Yeah, total mm-hmm. overall. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And what's your, all what's together. Your yeah. What's your altogether reach? is un, you know underneath that 180 million. But, yeah. 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 
Hmm. But know. just barely, I'm guessing. Well, yeah. Just barely. I'm climbing. I'm getting there. All right. Let me tell you about Rough Greens. Uh, if your uh, dog has been more lethargic than they used to be and you really like to see them active again and puppy-like again, it might be that the food that they're eating is just dead food and there's really nothing in it to help them become more active and, and healthier. But that's where Rough Greens comes in. This is a supplement that you sprinkle on top of your dog's food and it provides all the essential vitamins and minerals probiotics omega oils that your dog needs to become healthier happier more active so give this a try most dogs absolutely love the taste of this and and it enhances uh, the way they go after their food rather than the other way around but there are some dogs who are a little more finicky and you can find out if your dog which category your dog fits into by getting a free bag of rough greens just to try out for a few days or a week and then you jump in with both feet if it works for you um they'll send you a free bag all you have to pay is shipping just go to roughgreens.com that's r-u-f-f greens.com roughgreens.com or call 833 rough dog Pat Ray. Uh, did you see the latest on the U.S. women's soccer team? I did. <sighs> I, I, love thought this. Of you. I, I, I thought of you as soon as I saw it. I, it's hard to believe. It really it's is. incredible. So they were offered the exact same contract as the men. And they called it a PR stunt. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. So what have you been after? Equal pay. We want equal pay. We demand equal pay. Okay. All right. Here we will go. give you the exact same contract that we give to the men. How about that? What kind of PR stunt are you trying to pull? Here? Oh, my. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is insane. It's amazing. And it tells you what we've been saying all along. They're already making more than the men. So they don't want the exact same contract because they're already making more. Oh, my. <laughs> and yet they it's complete never whining enough. about it's it. It's never enough. It's, it's not. Ne- it's never enough. Like, you remember what's her face from uh, House of Cards? Uh, right, whatever her name is. Robin. Robin yeah, Robin. Uh, she came out and said, you know, complaining that Kevin Spacey was making more money than her. And uh, mm-hmm. the story broke after she complained about it because they had given her the money. They said, okay, mm-hmm. you know what? You're right. We'll we'll pay you the same. You deserve it. And just, you know, we're, we're good. And then, so then at the end, she complains after it's all done saying, yeah, I complained. And uh, finally, finally, after I complained, they gave me the money. Well, pathetic. yeah, you said something. They said, you know what? You're right. And they paid you. It's, it's incredible. Never enough. You're right. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, and so while the women's national team has been winning quite a bit more than the men's team over the last several years. Uh, what they're arguing is that the female players don't earn as much, which is not actually nonsense, according to uh, the U.S. Soccer Association. Um, however, the actual numbers aren't crystal clear, particularly due to how multiple revenue streams are deployed and differences in compensation structures. So I think the difference is here. I think what they're pissed off about is that the men's salaries they're not on salary the women get salaries the men don't right and i think their contracts are tied to revenue so what they want to do i think what they might be offering here is all right uh we'll tie it into revenue just there like uh, just, just like, like the, the men. men okay when when uh you make equal revenue you'll you'll make e- equal money there you go and that's what they don't want because they don't bring in the revenue well, yeah they, and they know they won't and they won't bring in the revenue no way and it's it's such a lopsided number that there's no way they could ever make up for it. So I, this is fascinating, start to finish, though. Because they, in whatever kind of compensation they're making, supposedly they were making multiple millions more than the men's team overall. Right, overall. Even, yes. even with their old deal. Um, and so now U.S. soccer is saying, all right, okay, hmm. well then we'll give you the exact same deal we're giving the men. And they don't want anything to do with that, because then it's going to be based on okay, what do you bring? What do you bring in? And what they bring in isn't it isn't a it's a fraction of what the men right. bring in. And so then they know a pay cut, right? It's it's this is kind of fun to watch actually, uh, but 
it's uh, it's soccer. So really, uh, who cares? Right. Thank you. There we go. I think <laughs> we got there. The number one we got there. Sport around the world. Uh, not in this country, my friend. Well, in Europe, they yeah. really love soccer. <laughs> yeah. In Europe, I've never made a decision Europe based on big. what the rest of the world thinks. Yeah. 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 Mm. You better uh, start, my friend. <laughs> you better start. You better start. <laughs> uh, Jeffy's meat sweats. This is uh, another part of Jeffy that has broken off and Yo. started a Twitter account. Yo. But Jeffy's meat sweats made a, uh, a video about a very special collection that you can be a part of. Oh. Yeah. Uh, check this out. I'm going to say it because I'll tell you something else. Uh-huh. Not just Joe Biden, but all Democrats. These are the songs that make everything all right. You're despicable. And finally, they're all together in one comprehensive collection. It's the Pat Gray Collection. Endless, huge chart toppers on 1,372 compact discs or one double-length cassette. These people so long. That's more than 20 minutes of entertainment crammed into 18 days of music. Like a census cowboy. That's an incredible value worth several dollars. Young man, get to the polls and make your vote count down. You can't absolutely get this amazing collection through this special TV offer. The Sounds of Pat Gray is not sold anywhere in stores. In fact, it's not sold anywhere at all. So don't call now to get Pat Gray's hottest hits. This is not Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> But wait, call in the next 16 minutes on the 12s and we'll cut the price in half. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Order now and we'll send you a free bonus album of Pat Gray's ultimate Al Gore hits. Settled on an acid <laughs> If you order now, we'll include Pat Gray's Midnight Soul Collection. What better way to exclaim that I love you than the sweet, angelic voice of Pat Gray? (laughs) (laughs) Satisfaction guaranteed. (laughs) This is the best album ever assembled in history, but don't take my word for it. Take these amazing actual reviews by real people like Stu Begier, who says, What the hell is this crap? (laughs) Or Glenn Beck, who proclaims, Am I paying for this? I better not be paying for this. (laughs) And Jeff Fisher, who gave the album 18 Spoons. Do not order sounds of Pat Gray. Don't call now to one eight 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 flap Jackson in the morning. That's one eight 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 flap Jackson in the morning. Or send four hundred forty nine nine ninety five for cassette or CD plus eighteen non bougie milky spoons for shipping and handling to Jeffy Fisher. Thank you. Order today. Wow, Jeffy's <laughs> Jeffy's meat sweats has way too much time on his no hands. No doubt that, about it. That's nice an job. awesome effort. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent that's job. Fun. We'll, we'll I, post this out on. Honestly, on I didn't remember. I know. most of those. Do you even remember that? I, when uh, I, some you, you of them. You see them? Yeah, when you yeah. see them. I was like, oh yeah. Well, so but I don't remember exactly what we were talking uh-uh. about. No. So time. if you go to YouTube.com/slash Pat Gray. There is a playlist that features oh, nice. the parodies that you've done. And okay. there's a couple that you've done recently, like the BYU song, and you did a mandate that we're going to add shortly. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's where you can find those. Okay. But we will tweet this out at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Look for the cool. Jeffy's Meat Sweats uh, collection there. <laughs> I mean, right. we should add that to be actually purchased. Yeah. Well, one day maybe we will. Perhaps that'll be an actual uh, 1,382 yeah. volume set. We'll see. Or All right. an extended play cassette. Right. Oh, a very extended yeah. play. Uh, coming up in about half an hour, our uh, second moron trivia of the NFL football season. And uh, much more Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Welcome. Great to have you with us. Got some tweets here. Comrade Snoobage tweets. This has to be the most surreal moment of the Nicki Minaj wanting the truth 
and the government wanting to silence her. <laughs> I love it. I love right? it. I forgot who said this. Somebody tweeted out, uh-oh, there's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So true. Coffee lover M, I can agree with what Nicki Minaj says while simultaneously thinking her vile music is ruining society. <laughs> uh, well said. Lone Wolf 2965, uh, a sound clip labeled incoherent biden shouldn't that be incoherent biden number 362 yeah yes. yeah yeah well, i didn't i didn't read the whole thing right <laughs> extra white biden coughs up more lies than any previous president see coughs up get it you know, see what they did there okay, uh, okay. coughs up mm-hmm. uh pathead nation tweets Sorry about your computer problems. I think I have a solution. Oh. Uh, let me tell you about Windows 95. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I it's mean, all been downhill since Windows 95, right? That was the last good one. Yeah, Is that probably. Right? I think so, because it was 98 yeah. that, that started the slide. It was. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Eliza Kelly, uh, why is the Pat Gray Unleashed playlist not on Spotify? Mm. Oh, it, as opposed to YouTube? Yeah. Is that, I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll I don't know. probably get I'll on tell that. Tell you what, we have get it on, on YouTube, though. and there until we, we start charging you, <laughs> why don't you just enjoy what we're giving you? Uh, first of all... I, 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 I actually defer to Jeffy on this first, one. First of all... <laughs> I mean, you're work. freaking welcome, okay? <laughs> I was about to thank you. <laughs> you. See that the National Archives are uh, labeling our founding documents... Offensive. Yeah, we talked about that. Have you have you read any of those documents? Yeah, I have. I've read. Well, in fact, I've know. read all of them. There's then a trigger you know. warning. There's mm-hmm. a trigger warning. Mm-hmm. It may be offensive to some people. Well, if that's, that's the case, then bye bye. Yeah how how can you be a how can you be offended by the founding documents? Honestly, what part of the U.S. Constitution is offensive to you? What part of the Declaration of Independence is offensive to you? What? What is triggering people? <laughs> hey. Well, the three fifths clause, where the founders yeah. claimed that blacks were three fifths of a human being. Yeah, that's not what they were saying there. You know, that's I'll not what that did. The one thing that's, that's not a what they meant is the whole "we the people" thing. Oh yeah, like yeah. That. Who are you to speak for all the people? Mm. Okay. There's that too, right? And are there are are there offensive pronouns in there? I'll bet there are. But there are. Jeez. I don't know. I mean, if you can't even go yeah, to the National the Archives. Place. We're doomed as a nation, man. <laughs> Seriously. When you're teaching this generation that's in school right now that this country is offensive, it's racist, it's inherently racist. It's over. It's founded on race. It's over. Mm-hmm. They grow up and you're going to now run this horrifically offensive you're just gonna, country? You're just going to hope that the next generation just has this magical love for the country they've been taught to hate for the first 18 years of their right. life. That's impossible. Right. No, I'm sorry. You've doomed impossible. yourself as a society. And then, you know, sacred places like the National Archives where we've got our sacred documents in there. Now those are offensive to you yeah. too. I... You can't recover from that. You can't. So maybe you know, though, Pat. Seriously, maybe the tens of thousands of Haitians coming into the country mm. at the southern border. Maybe they'll turn us around. <laughs> it's just a thought. Maybe I don't know. You know, uh, but you- seriously, if anybody could do it, it's probably going to be uh, <laughs> probably immigrants is, from other actually. countries who have been oppressed is. and understand that the freedom here is something special. That's why they're coming here. Yeah, right. And it, and it's a uh, it's quite. Look at this. Quite a gathering down there. Um, these are oh, from uh, drone footage that has uh, the FAA has now Is said it- it's a security concern. No more drones flying over there. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. It's not the pictures that you're finding problematic. Right. It's look the at fact this. that the drones are dangerous. Look, look at, at that. this. I mean, the mayor of Del Rio. They has said, said there's that literally thousands and thousands. Tens of, of thousands. People. Tens of thousands. And My the, gosh. the mayor has said that. When he talked about the worst case scenario, this is actually the worst case of the worst case scenario. Oh my! That's happening right now. What are they doing about this? They're nothing. nothing right? Building a wall, nothing. right? Isn't that what we're doing? We got no, a wall I mean, no. coming They're giving up. them no, a number. Not. They're giving them a number, and they don't have to be vaxxed. They don't have to be tested, and you know, I sending guess they, them off. They're either waiting under the bridge or sending mm-hmm. them off to wherever. Go back to those photos. Uh, that's staggering. Drink that in. Look at that. I know. I mean, look at that. It stretches on and on and on and on. Mm-hmm. They're just living under 
And, a freeway overpass. And, and look, if they're doing that and they think it's better, and it probably is better than where they were coming from, right? I don't but know. I, I don't know either. I don't know how but that can be. I know Ted Cruz last night did an interview. I saw, I heard an interview with him on one of the Fox shows, and he talked about how this was the administration's fault. Well, of and, course it is. Uh, you know, how, how it happened. Absolutely it is. Where do you get that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, everything's the administration's fault with Ted Cruz. I got mm-hmm. it. But uh, it started on the 8th when Biden said, told Haiti that he wasn't going to let him fly in anymore. And so they all came in through the border. All right, we'll come and, this way. And don't wow. forget that Mayor uh, Bruno Lozano, who you referenced there, said it's the worst of the worst. He's a Democrat. You know, he he's a hero of the LGBTQI yeah. plus community. I mean, he sees community. how it's damaging. His, his world is just... Mm-hmm. So is yeah, ours. Um, he's he's being intellectually honest about this, and we appreciate that. So yeah, I don't know that yeah, that's, that's gonna, rare. That that's not well, going to make the Biden administration I mean, care anymore. He's no Nicki Minaj asking questions, that's but true. he is asking questions. That's true. <laughs> so crazy. I'm I'm just looking at his Wikipedia page. You I mean, know. D- do you remember how hysterical they were under e- Bush? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Trump. Trump. Mm-hmm. Uh, hysterical under Bush sure. as well. Yeah. But the, more so under Trump. Mm-hmm. And what was going on at the border was nothing like what's happening now. It's it's uh, it's catastrophic what's sure happening is. right now. And you think and a big and you think that uh, they care about you and your um, no they don't uh, care. your vaccines and your COVID nineteens. They and don't we're care. letting these t- tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of people into this country from other countries that aren't vaccinated, aren't tested, and mm-hmm. we're just putting them into the country. They don't care about you. So uh, I think there's Jeez. a larger issue here we need to discuss, and it's that there's a section under this mayor's Wikipedia page where the title is LGBTQI plus achievements, you see? Okay. Now, you remember how mm-hmm. you used to do a kind of, uh, uh, you, would, you would stretch out, it was like, it used to be just gay achievements, right? Or whatever that would be, you know, mm-hmm. 20 years ago. And then LGB, and then LGBTQ, or LGBT, then LGBTQ, because remember, like, what is mm-hmm. your thing that you're constantly saying? LGBTQQIAA2+. Okay. Like, literally, the official, <laughs> the official uh, uh, definition now is getting longer than your jokey one. Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. Can we stop how separating the, ourselves? How long and what are the achievements? Well, then, <laughs> I don't know that you want me to go through all these. But, I do because I'm interested to see. Um, the, are there the a actual lot? achievements? I mean, I, I know there's a lot. Of course, there's a the, lot they, of achievements. Well, he serves as the president. <laughs> it's of too the many year. for me to I mention. Dare that's, you? That's that's, that's, that's what thing. I'm concerned. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah. That there's too many. Uh, too for him many. To many mention. You know what? Yeah, that, there are. There, there's just too many here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but name one. Name name one. Well, he serves as the president mm-hmm. for Del Rio Safe. That's oh. the sexual advocacy for okay. everyone. All right. Well, good. Wow, that's it's, powerful. It's a local LGBTQI plus nonprofit. All right. Uh, obviously, he's been... So be- these are his, these are his accomplishments. Oh, his achievements. Not a, the community at large. This is okay. weird. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. okay so, really well, weird. Well, Lozano has been featured on multiple news outlets due to his landslide win as the first openly gay elected official in Del Rio. Mm. Oh, I mean, that's a huge achievement. Mm-hmm. M- must I continue to talk no, about the documentary? You mustn't. And- you mustn't. Good. Sounds like you don't think it's much of an achievement. No, it's powerful. It's powerful. It's just too much. It's too much. Yeah. We'd spend the whole rest I of the mean- show and then <laughs> spill into next week with it. And we just, we can't. We can't. I'd like to, but we can't. Would you? No, would I would. You really? I would. Yeah. I would. But okay. first, I got to tell you about Bill Bar. <laughs> All right? Because yeah, these convenient. are delicious. <laughs> If you get really hungry, as I do throughout the course of the day, but you don't want to feel guilty about what you eat, this is a great way to go because Built Bars, you don't have you don't have the guilt factor. It And you would think when you taste them, you would think, oh my gosh, I'm just ruining uh, my chances of, of being in shape here. Not the case at all because they're less than 180 calories. They have 18 grams of protein, only 4 to 5 grams of sugar, 4 to 5 net carbs. So... Uh, you don't have to feel guilty and beat yourself up for eating these. Uh, and they come in fantastic flavors. Coconut, mint brownie, double chocolate, salted caramels, my favorite, uh, cookies and cream, and a lot more. And they have the new Rocky Road that everybody's raving about. Give them a try. You are going to love these. They're a game changer. Uh, go to built.com. Use the promo code PAT15 and save 15% off your first order. Plus... 
you're working with a company and supporting a company that just is filled with great people. Use the promo code PAT15 for 15% off at Built.com. Pat Gray. So things going well in Israel right now uh, with the vaccines and the mandates and yeah. and everything's fine. Yep. Uh, oh, good. Excellent. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm happy to hear you report that. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy to be able to report <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. What's going so why is everything fine well, in Israel? Well, because they've they're almost completely vaxxed, right? right? They're over yeah. they're over 80%. That's yeah. cool. Last I saw it was 83 Good. or 85%. Good, cuz they love people. And they're just uh, they're spiking in uh in covid cases. Why did you say it like that? Like, I guess it's not as good as I was hoping. It's got to be because of Shoot. those 10% that are on yeah. Vax, those yeah, bastards. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do we have the chart right. of, of what Israel is going we through now? We do have the chart. Let's take a look see, at the chart. Uh, see what we got okay. going on here with uh, with uh, with Israel. Okay, so and there you go. Oh, look at there. Okay, so so look early in the year that that's where they, you know between January and April there they were really getting that society vax and look how it bottomed out. Look at there. Yeah, April 9th through about June twenty seventh, it was looking really good, and then whoops, daisies. No, wait. Okay, they're almost fully vaxxed, uh-huh. and look at the spikes. Well, wait a minute. That what doesn't going on compute now? to what we were sold. Right. No, it doesn't. Huh. No, it sure doesn't. Um, but then uh, a chart you never see mm-hmm. is India. Mm-hmm. Here's India's chart with their huge spike uh, as of May 5th. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? Was it a whole bunch of vaccinated people? No, actually it was not. They started using something called ivermectin oh my gosh yeah a horse dewormer yeah. oh enjoy your yeah. horse now keep pace. that up and look what happened look what happened when they started using the horse dewormer well you Amazing. say it's from the horse dewormer it's probably because that society is entirely vaccinated as well no, no they're it's, not oh it's, it's one of the lowest in the 31 percent 31 percent vaccinated <laughs> and look at look at their rate it just huh. plummeted, That's and it has stayed low. Well, I'm sure that'll lead the news everywhere. CNN will probably glom onto this this oh, yeah, morning, yeah. right? It'll be their It'll top be a, thing. Like, hey, <laughs> yes. look at this. So misleading, our press over the ivermectin. So it's, bad. It's pathetic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and now you've yeah, got, uh, what's the uh, the treatment that uh, Biden has shut down? Uh, the uh, monoclonal. The, thank you for yeah. saying it for me. Yeah. Uh, the remdesivir, yeah. Antibodies. The remdesivir? So he promises it last week. Regeneron or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And now he's... Cut shipments to red states, right? Because you know we're right. not uh, we're not in a we're, cold we're not, civil war yet. We're not deserving of. Yeah, the they came in and took it over on these states, right? They said that they were going to take yes. take it over, and yeah. then since they've taken it over, yeah, we're taking it over because we're not going to send you any. Yeah, Jen Saki yesterday, yeah, she said, uh, "Well, we got to be more uh, equitable in the distribution." Okay. Uh, yeah, no. let's okay. distribute it where it's not needed as much. <laughs> that's a really good idea, Jen. That, that's, that's really exactly smart. Yeah. Right. Really, really smart. Let's because everything they've done in the past has been so smart. It's just it's so agonizing. It's agonizing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want to bet? We're going to find out after this is calmed down. Somebody's g- going to do an actual definitive study that's peer reviewed and everything else they want to see in it. And the ivermectin thing is going to turn out to be. Uh, what was a needed? miracle drug? What was needed? Yeah, yeah yes. but, but Trump liked it, so now it doesn't count. I know that that that's science know. now. Science in America is whatever the opposite of what Trump likes. They're going to find something in this horse dewormer that is a, a virus killer. Well, they, that's what they're going to find. They they've said. I mean, I, I saw the headline of a story and I, I saved it. I didn't read it yet, but that was talking about since that was uh, the guy who. Uh, found ivermectin that created mm-hmm. it and yep. what a miracle drug oh, it and was and by the way the guy won the nobel prize yes. for it <laughs> right won a nobel prize for horse dewormer yeah yeah you don't <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah. you don't hear them Camilla? mention that very often thank like you. never it's never mentioned by these douchebags right, right right that the guy won a nobel prize for this medicine it's really amazing it's really sure amazing yeah, and, then, and then you have to put up with boneheads like don lemon oh, this guy check out don lemon's latest i think we have to stop coddling people when it comes to this and the vaccine mm-hmm. saying oh you can't shame them you can't call them stupid you can't call them silly again yes they what? are the people who aided and abetted trump are stupid because they believed his big lie 
The people who are not getting vaccines, Still trying to tag who are believing know, the lies on the Internet understand. instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. It's time to start shaming right? them? Because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind. Oh. Are they? You didn't feel that way about the polio vaccine. You don't feel that way about measles, mumps, oh, rubella when it comes stop. to your children. And all of a sudden, this vaccine That's their new thing is now. different. It is. What, what's the, different the about it? The only different thing about uh, the it is death because of is your different. politics The deaths today. from it. The, the people talk about, well, I don't know and what's I, in the shot, Chris. I don't know what's in the shot. Listen to his analogy. This is torture. I'll tell you what's not yeah, in it. Hold on. A let tracking let me, device. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I got yeah, a good me, point, me, Chris. Me, oh, I love tracking device. You know, you know what they, they get shots in? What? Nowadays? What? In their rear ends? What? They're getting shots to make it bigger. They're getting shots in their face. They don't know what's in Botox. They don't know what's in uh, the stuff. Botulism is in Botox. Botox. People don't know what they eat, what they drink, Look, I tried it once. My eyebrow went up. I don't have it now. As you can see, I got all these wrinkles. Everybody asks me when I'm going to get you can eat eat Botox. But listen, nothing wrong with Botox. But I'm saying. Pause it for a second. There's nothing wrong with Botox? (laughs) Okay. What a dumbass. I mean, this guy (laughs) is so unbelievably stupid. I know. He, what an analogy. How does he have a I, job I on network know. television? I don't know. You get shots in your butt, don't you? <laughs> no. I love that. Uh, let's see if you're Kim Kardashian, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about the people that are getting plastic surgery shots, and they don't know what's in the shots. But I love how he holds off Chris so he can make this point. Wait, 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 wait. I got to make this point about shots in the butt. Hold on. Yeah, well, Chris's point was before brilliant. that was, what's in Not trackers. That's what's in those shots. Not trackers. And is oh, somebody okay, saying there you. are trackers in the shots? Uh, is that? Well, I haven't I mean, even heard it. has been a thing about Keith's people. shots forever. I can't yeah, take Keith's it. Yeah, Keith's people. <laughs> <laughs> him, awesome. and, him and the magnet people. <laughs> the magnet people are real. Uh, the magnet people are real. Darn you. Yeah. The magnet people are real. I swear by the magnet people. <laughs> Do you? That one is confirmed. Okay. Sure is. I don't care about trackers or whatever that is. <laughs> but the magnet people are real. Okay, More on trivia it. coming up. Upon the frozen tundra of the human mind. Which country borders the United States to the north? How about Mexico? Wow, that's a great answer. It's not exactly north, though. Oh, man. Two teams of infinitesimal intellect will collide in a cloud of glory. The Ten Commandments were carried down the mountain by whom? I don't know. You don't know? Oh. His name was Blaine. Mental gladiators, capable of taking a minor incline and turning it into an unscalable summit. America claimed its independence from which country? I Nobody knows this. Don't, don't yeah. know. Yeah. Dalt versus Dimwit. What territory did the United States purchase from France in the early 1800s? New England. Dunce versus Dalt. What is socialism? Somebody that talks to the public? Somebody right. that talks to the public. There you go. Oh. What? No. Oh my. Moron versus moron. What does USA stand for? Pass. Pass. Oh, you pass. Yeah. 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 It's the upstairs attic. You're going to pass on what does USA stand for? In an epic battle of nitwits. If a show airs at 6 p.m. Eastern time, what time is it in the Pacific zone? No, no, not about football. This is not about football. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because okay. she doesn't yeah. know football. Yeah. How many times does she have to tell you? should have changed the question. This. 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 Is is moron moron trivia. trivia. Good morning, American. Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. Yay. That time of week again. Time for moron trivia. 888 thirty three ninety three. If you sense a flag that should be on the field, you can call us with that. Here's our commissioner, Jeff Fisher, to tell us about how the game works. Well, we predict the outcome of an NFL game. This week's game is the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Mm-hmm. We uh, we call the home team first, so we're expecting to hear uh, the uh, the sounder when uh, we have a phone call to uh, talk to the someone from the Kansas City. The greater areas of these cities, we call Baltimore. convenience stores, and uh, we call... Mm-hmm other places now as well <laughs> and we ask people uh, four <laughs> four questions per quarter mm-hmm. and uh the cities that answer the most questions correctly wins the game and, and we call baltimore we first it. since they're the home team mm. mm-hmm. okay just yeah. just mm-hmm. to make sure that, that that is the rule right we call the home team home first, team first. So. yes okay. that's right okay and uh you know we play four quarters just like should just we not like get four football. quarters in we go with the last fully completed quarter 
Correct. Uh, so, because sometimes it's tough to get people to answer the phone in these cities. Now, really? Baltimore and Kansas City, I, they're busy. I, I, you know, I worry about Baltimore. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works. <laughs> so far, not well. <laughs> <laughs> not well. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You never know. You uh, never know. Right now, our record with more on trivia, zero and one. Uh, yeah, we were wrong on our first game because Keith picked the Falcons uh, to be one of the teams, and that always throws us off on yeah. more on trivia. So I think I think we the Falcons clause right in the mm-hmm. in the league rules, right? Yeah, He's gonna leave which means that, that, yeah, that you write you write it up. It's like a it's like a non taxable item. Keith, Keith likes to write this Falcons law in. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. You know, uh, Tom Brady makes the video every week whenever the Buccaneers getting ready to play. He speaking of the Falcons, right. he had a nice little because uh, Tampa Bay hidden, plays Atlanta. This hidden week, right? message for his opponent this week, the Falcons. Oh, yeah, let's w- see it. Watch this. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up? Hope see you if guys you can see the message. Weekend. Football is officially back, and it's great to be yeah. one and zero. We got a big week ahead. Yeah, the marathon's just getting started. Please. We got a lot to improve on. And excited. Please don't hurt us this week. Let's go. Don't hurt us. Okay, now if you can't look, see, look, zoom in over his shoulder there, and it's three uh, twenty-eight p.m. Thank you, Tom Brady. Where? I don't. Right there. See, yeah, the on screen. His, on his screen back there. Oh, <laughs> jeez. So he's been he's been waiting all day for 3:28 p.m. so he can that record. That is a really nice, <laughs> awesome. subtle. That I respect for really that. Really nice. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. 28 to three being, of course, the score that uh, that uh, Falcons led the Super Bowl. Falcons against the led Patriots. the Super Bowl, Tom and the Brady was Patriots there. came back and. And one, huh? So don't remember that, huh? You don't remember that? Don't rem- I just? Huh. That's interesting. Everybody keeps talking about it. I just take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, while we're waiting for a for a contestant uh, from Baltimore, um, let me remind you about the Mercury One ten year anniversary event that's happening really soon. That's coming up. The power yeah. of one renewing kindness. It's on October 9th here in Irving, Texas. Tickets are available right now. So this is less than a month away already. Yeah, it's Can you believe that? It's like yeah. three weeks away. So tickets are available right now at mercuryone.org. Uh, we got to pick out items to be auctioned off. Oh, yeah, cool. we got to do something Have uh, you for picked the out auction. something? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> We're man. supposed to have our auction moo-moo? item by it, today. Yes. Is it a moo yeah, What it all out. I, what do you, I, I don't know. You don't know. You don't still don't know. know? No, I don't know. What are we oh, going to wow. do? We could do something as this show. We could do something as doing I'm the gonna fat. Do, I'm going to do 12. I'm going to do a year's worth of cookies from Kexi Cookies. You can auction off. You can buy. Well, that's uh, not fair. Yeah. Jeffy's going to. It is fair. Be the that's silent bitter. It's, it's great, right? That's, <laughs> that's not right. fair. It's going to be a dozen a month for a year. Uh, wow. So uh, yeah. I, I just mm-hmm. won that. <laughs> no, I just won no, that. You didn't. Yeah, no, all for Mercury Be One. Auctioned off for Mercury One. Yeah, yeah, uh, I just won that's that. what's going to happen there. <laughs> I know my wife's making these great leather pieces mm-hmm. for the auction. Well, leather pieces, gonna, that's nice. The, that's cute. The... That's adorable. <laughs> Whatever. We're doing gourmet cookies for a year, so I need piss me. What about for the show, though? That you is tying for the show. it in with the show? Yes. All right, well, then I'm part of that. No. Yes, that's part of Pat Unleash. I'm part of the show. I'm part of the Kex and Cookies. That's what we're doing. <laughs> cool. Yes. Got me All off right. the hook, too. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, that's uh, that's coming right on up, and that's always a fun night. That's what, Last year, we had to skip it, obviously, because of the pandemic. Yeah. So, uh, this will be the first time in a couple of years that we've been there and done this, and uh, it's always a really good time, so we'll see you there. Uh, where is it being held? Is it here? No, it's over at uh, the is it a hotel? music factory, at Toyota Music Factory. Oh, that's right? right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That'll be cool. That's a nice venue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Did you know that uh, Chew of the Fat is giving away Kexi cookies? <laughs> oh, really? Uh, over at the, the yeah, at the Mercury huh. One yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that yeah, worked out, did you? Huh? Yeah, really? well, it's part of this show. Oh, that's part, cool. Okay. Of the on show. Good on you, man. Wow, right. that's really generous <laughs> of you to well, do that. Well, I like that. That's a good idea. Anything I can do. Huh. Anything, really? Yeah. Huh. Anything. Yeah. Whatever you need, yeah. whenever you need it, you let me know. All right. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anything? <laughs> wow. I find that hard to believe. You are just barely more believable than anything <laughs> Joe Biden worst. says. The worst. Uh, check out this uh, tweet from the New York Times. Researchers in Israel <laughs> reported that a third dose of Pfizer-BioNTech uh, COVID vaccine 
can enhance protection in adults older than 60. Told you. Get this. Yeah. How, but how long does it last? 12 days. At least 12 oh, full The days. full 12 days the booster full works? Full 12 days. I mean, we're not even shorting, sh- shorting it uh, at <laughs> all. I wouldn't shorten this to 11. I'd go 12 right. full days. Wow. Just wait until you're required to get one of these every week of your life if you want to be a amazing? citizen in good standing. It's coming. You're oh, kidding it's me. coming. The third shot yeah. is going to protect me for 12 days. You get 12 days. days? What do you want? What do you want? Uh, I don't know. You want the full 14? A lifetime! <laughs> like my actual immune system. Because How about that? To Don Lemon's point earlier Jeez. in the president's. Really um, bad. You, well, you get the, the mumps and the measles shots and stuff like that. Not every week. Not right. every 12 days. Yes. Douches. Ugh. Ugh. And correct me if this. I'm wrong. We keep calling the this mRNA shots that we, people are getting vaccines, but they're not really. They're not vaccines. No, they're not. It's. Yeah. Such I mean, right. I don't want to break people down That's with right. you know facts and figures uh-huh. and all that because I don't yeah. like to bog the people down. Get all with technical facts, but, and scientific yeah. on you, but, but it's not, not a vaccine. vaccine it's, not, sure. no. it's not a vaccine. And Don Lemon's thing was oh, nobody says this about polio and measles. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. How about? Uh, Anywhere from, depending on who you listen to, 13,000 to 45,000 deaths from the vaccine. How about that? Uh, more than all other vaccines combined over the last 20 years. But you're like, Jeffy, you don't want to bog people down. But I don't facts. want to bog you down with facts. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to just throw out throw that out there. I mean, we've had we've had 660,000 deaths or something like that. I mean, yeah. we've had a lot. A lot. And a lot of people get, and a lot of people get uh, really sick, right? It's not all about the deaths; it's about catching COVID and yeah. and you know getting really sick from the from the virus. Don't want that, so get the mm-hmm. shot and shut up. <laughs> okay, I mean you're get no you're, you're getting butt shots. It. You're getting butt shots. So right, and according you're, you're, to Don Lemon, you're getting butt Botox, shots. Botox. So. You're getting these shots in your lips. Yeah, who's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> is he is he alleging that all kinds of conservatives are running I don't around know. getting Who knows what butt he's shots? Yes, yes. Get out of here! Shut up. <laughs> he, he just. I mean, how is he on television? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand it. how both of them are on. I know. I know they're they're an embarrassment. They seriously are an embarrassment. And I love this. Uh, we're going to start calling them stupid and start shaming them. The people who won't get the vaccine. We're going to start. What, you're going to start? I mean, the only thing left is to round us up and put us in death camps. Oh, they're getting close to that. That's the only thing left. Oh, they're they getting are, close they to that. Close we got that, that guy right. who wandered around Target chasing around that woman. I guess she didn't have a mask on or something. Right. And Oh, my goodness. Is there a video of that? Oh, yeah, let's play that one, please. Yeah. Really? You're vaccinated? Yes, I am. Oh, you are? Because I already have natural immunity. Huh. Yeah. You're not going to follow me around in the store and point at me to people. So I will video you. So I have a state regulation. that, uh... And it's not a law. You're an idiot. No. Oh, oh, so you're going to insult me now. Yeah, I am, because you're following me like a stalker. Oh, is she? So people are sticking up for her, though. This is between, this is Good. Between two of us. So what? Leave her alone. You got your mask on your face. I'm sure you're vaccinated, too. He is. He has a badge that says it. I do. So my wife is a doctor who specializes in infectious disease. Okay, stop for just a second. So There's, there's no, no way. No, there is not a no. chance. <laughs> no. There is not a Chance this hillbilly. that this guy <laughs> is wait married a minute. to a freaking hillbilly. There's not a chance a that that no. guy's got an infectious no. disease no. doctor for right. a wife. No, I'm sticking up for hillbillies here. That guy no. is worse. No, you kidding me? Come on, that guy's horrific. <laughs> now it's possible Stop that his wife knows about infectious diseases, but she is Probably. not a doctor. It's possible she has infectious. She got diseases. him from him. I'll say that. Yeah. What happened? No way. No way. Is there more? <laughs> oh yeah, he's just pointing at her. Look at this. So, you know, do you think that she just choice. doesn't know what she's talking about? It's her choice. It's her choice. Just leave her alone. No, there's a store requirement and a state requirement. Mm. It's not her mm. choice. Mm. Mm. Look at that loser. It's what do you all even of our in job for? as a community to come together. You're not even shopping. Sure You're going around to harass people. And yeah. make sure that people are shaped. He, he was following when they put the me. He walked me Yeah, it's not up to you to do that, douchebag. I know, and he has a badge on. <laughs> Stop following me. What a loser. That guy was born to have his ass kicked. Yeah, I know. I'm sure he probably has. Uh-huh. He's still following her, by the way. By publicly shaming me? Yeah, you're making a bad decision. 
That's none you're of your business. American. I am. I totally am. And I yes. voted for Trump. Yeah, you're a Yay! bad person. <laughs> I was, I you're a bad person. Yeah, he's not a bad person because my mom was vaccinated and still ended up in the hospital with COVID. It's your choice. Yeah, well, it's very, very unusual. Uh, right. It's very, it's very, very unusual. unusual. Uh huh. Wow. Last week, a doctor specializing in infectious disease. Are you saying that she just makes this stuff up? Well, no, Probably. She has a choice, and you have a choice. Yeah, well, That's nice that the masked people are. are yes. Uh, on her side. Yeah, I don't know where this That's is, do you? I do not. But this is what's happening all over America. All over America. Yes. Listen to that. They're all just ganging up on him. He did not expect this. He has a badge on that says that you can follow me around the store yelling at me. Are you serious? These ladies have been very supportive. I know. We're having a talk about it. You know, he's stalking a woman. He's stalking... Right. A woman. Well, that's okay now. And apparently it is. In a public place. Yeah. Women apparently have... Sorry. I guess we don't care about women anymore. I'm surprised just, though. It's fine in, if, you know, you show up and you show them your wang in a, in a bathroom or you stock them in a store hang on like a second. this. That's ironic you say that because that was in Target just there. So I was I was grateful that the Target security intervened on behalf of yeah, the woman. Yeah, that is good. But that now, if good. this guy wants to follow her into the bathroom and show his wing, though, that's you're right. That's <laughs> then that, that's cool. Yeah, that's you can do that. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> if he identifies all of a sudden as a woman, sure. then, then he can go in and do that, right? So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He could use the restroom of his choice. <laughs> I mean, the, the, this is oh, man. these are these are happening more and more, and I contend that the Biden administration loves this. If they can keep us at each <clears> other's <throat> throats. Then, then mm-hmm. it's the it's the biggest distraction from, for example, Afghanistan. How quickly did we pivot off of Afghanistan and his colossal failure there, and start talking about mandates from employers? Yep, he did a really good job with that. And, yes, and you know, you asked for. Uh, we were talking about New York City. When do the videos of minorities being we talked out about this just yesterday, and it's already happened. Mm-hmm. Watch this: white man kicking a black family out of a New York restaurant. So you're refusing to serve us. Are you refusing to serve us? Yeah, you can get vaccinated for So you so you're going to enforce segregation because we just told yeah. you that we're religiously exempt. You told us you had your vaccination. I never told you any of that. I I would never tell you that. I would never say that. I would never say that. We have to leave. We don't have to leave. I if you have the flyer, you have the flyer that you're supposed to put into your, your window, right? Okay. Go and read it. Go and read it. Go and read they it. They don't care and, about that. And you tell me we're not leaving. Well, I'm not leaving. You guys can leave. I'm not leaving. They don't care about the whole exemption thing at the bottom. They all put that no. on. All, the, all those companies, the websites, all have that exemption stuff, and they don't, they don't care. Okay, so he's got a young daughter with him. Mm-hmm. The, these poor little kids, they're either going to be scarred for life or they're going to become warriors for freedom. Everybody's in well, yeah, okay. I mean, they see their with, dad. With, with setting, up, setting segregation in society? Yep. Everybody's okay with that? Oh, we don't have our vaccine card, so now the kids can't eat. Now, this we is New York. Eat. You guys are okay with that? This is the America you want to live in? Yep. Is this the America you want to live in? He said, no, yep. You, you see? You're not American. That's why you need to get the out of here if you're not American. <laughs> all right? Get the out of here. Okay? This is America, and in America, everybody can eat. Thank you. Everybody can eat in America. Not all right? today's America, not my friend. They're telling us that we can't eat here, but yet they didn't ask. This is America. You need to wake up. This is the kind of country you want to live in? You want to live in this type of country? Wow. Everybody's okay they with do. this? Yeah. 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 yeah, they love New yeah, York. They do. New York. You're talking to New Yorkers, man. Yeah, they're fine with it. They don't mind. No, that's that's not the point. That's not the point. Yeah, it's not the point. That's not the point. So, do they finally I leave? You, I told you that we're religiously no? exempt. If you read the poster that you posted on your thing from the city, it says you cannot discriminate. Okay, read the poster. It says it on there. Hmm. So I don't know if they left or not, but uh, there you go. There it is. That's uh, there you have it's it. It's brewing. It's bubbling under. Here we go. Good for him though for making uh, yes. making it, it an it, issue. Good. Yes. Good. Put it in their face. You better believe it. I really wish I could find where that Target location was, but uh, it's just outside of town. Just outside of town. Yeah. 
the, which town is it? Just outside of town. Just right outside there. of town. your local, your local right town. There. Yeah, your, your local, local area. area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you but see the target. But local. wherever that target was, uh-huh. I mean, you saw the difference in reaction from the crowd, right? Yeah. The people defending her, in New York City. No, nah, we don't care. Yeah. This is the yeah. This is exactly what we this want. Is the America. Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Still looking for our first contestant in uh, in the first quarter uh, in Baltimore. Uh, hopefully, that'll come next. Don't sit there like a bump on a log. Lock it on the frog. The big frog. 1099 with Flap Jackson. That's right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're now the big, big frog. 1099. No, 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 no. Name change. We're the big og, as you can see. Our, oh, the uh, FR broke off. Yeah, so oh, the, no. the the. Oh, wow. So, uh, but thank you for this awesome thing. I don't know why it, it broke. Who broke that? I don't know. I just. No way. We got to. Con- Nice. Javon in Baltimore. Uh, hey, Javon. Mm-hmm. Hi. Oh, <laughs> you uh, feeling pretty good this this morning? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. yeah. Us yeah. too. Us yeah. too, man. Well, Javon, we're gonna ask you four quick questions. If that's okay, D- you can't ask anybody for help, and uh, if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. Okay. Okay. All right. Javon, what is green energy? I don't know. You don't yeah. know. Nobody knows that's that. A tough one. That's a really hard. No one's ever answered this correctly. Nobody. Yeah, they'll, they'll feel bad. Uh, it is uh, energy that comes from Kermit the Frog. Because <laughs> he's I got green. It. I got it. Did you get it, Javon? You know what I mean? Mm-mm. No, yeah. you didn't get it. Okay. Shoot. Javon, what state's initials are I A? I A. Illinois. 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 That's a good I mean, that's guess. really good guess, but. Can't quite give it to you. It's no. actually Idaho, but. You were really, really close. Illinois, yes. Idaho, who cares, oh, right? Am I right? right? They're right next to each other, Meaningless. Javon. It's yeah, right high there. State. <laughs> a menorah is usually associated with what religion? Menorah. Voodooism? Voodooism? Voodooism. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty, Pretty close. Can we give it? Darn right. Can we give it to him? It's not that no, close. It's not okay. that, no. no, it's uh, the menorah is with the Mennonites. Menorah Mennonites. Yeah. You were close again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In Celsius, now, we're talking about Celsius, not Fahrenheit. At what temperature does water freeze, Javon? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I hear you. This damn metric system, you know. It's freaking Europeans. 20, 20, 20 below. Celsius. Yeah, 20 below Celsius. Niner. Yeah. Really close. Yeah, Actually, it. it's kind of a trick question. No one knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. So, so maybe There's Javon's no way to right. Tell. There's no way to maybe tell. Maybe Javon's right. Maybe it, it is could 20 be, something. But we're we don't just know. not sure. If we find out that Javon's right, we'll give it to him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll call right. you back if, if you're right, right. right. We'll let you know, Javon. Well, Javon, you've been an absolute delight. Yeah, dude. Have another cup of coffee or something. Right. Man. Uh, yeah. Get a nap in sometime during the course of the day if you can. Go Ravens, huh? All right. Are you, are you a Ravens fan? Mm-mm. No, me, yeah. neither. Who, who, me who do, neither. I mean, do you care for anything at all on this planet? Like anything? Uh, yeah, my kids. Your kids. Right. That's good a good answer. place to good start. Answer. Good answer. Good all answer. Right. All right. How many kids do you have, Javon? Two. Two. Yeah. Okay. What are their names? Uh, Javon Washington. Okay. Junior. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne Wilkerson. Excellent. Nice. Well, Excellent. Hi, kids. How many kids you got that you don't pay for? Oh, no. Nah, he doesn't know. <laughs> I don't know my, my number either. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, Ooh, like Celsius. So, That's yeah, a comfy you chair do? you're sitting in, huh, Javon? Uh uh-uh. oh. Oh, no? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Javon. You've been a delight. You seriously have, and uh, and we thank you for playing. You've been so great. In fact, we're going to send you the home version really? of our game. Yeah, psychically. Wait, uh, okay. and I just did. But Javon, before you go, where where do you get all of your energy? Like, is there an energy drink there that you'd recommend that, that keeps you as peppy as you are? Rip, rip it, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. What, what, what? Did you get the game? <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. We got to run. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but oh, thanks. thanks a lot. I'll stop Appreciate it next week, man. We'll see you. See ya. Have a good yeah. weekend. All right. Okay. All right. All right we'll probably stop by Monday. All right. No, you got right, that man. thing Monday. We'll see you then. Oh, that's right. Tuesday oh, then. Right. No, Tuesday, Tuesday for you sure. got the conference call. All right, right. Well, we'll talk Wednesday, to you later, Thursday anyway. in there somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. I'll come in after I get gas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.
man. <laughs> Javon was on fire. Woo! Oh yeah. Am I right? Oh yeah. I mean, I could so, not. I couldn't work with someone with that much energy. No. I tell you, you can't keep up with it. Right. You just—it's exhausting to try to keep up with. All right, we've got the uh, Chiefs, who will hopefully have the ball in the uh, first quarter. Yeah. In the first quarter, next on Pat Gray Unleashed, <laughs> more on trivia. Welcome. Uh, welcome to you. Triple eight nine hundred uh thirty-three ninety-three. Yeah. Hey, nice. Oh, perfect timing. We got who do we have? We got Brandy. Uh no. in uh, oh, no. Brandy and KC. Hey Brandy. How Bra- you doing? Brandy. Oh no. Brandy? Oh hey, Brandy. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you, you would be. be. She but, care. you know, my life, my lover, Love. my lady, is the sea. Hate to tell you that. You know, I think you've been it. ghosted by Brandy already. Right. Brandy, you there? <laughs> hey, Brandy! Brandy! So this is it. Hello! Brandy, hey, Brandy. I gave you that freaking necklace. Right, N- Yes. Made, made of the finest, finest silver, silver from, from the south north of Spain. Spain. Wait, a locket. It, it was a locket. It had been bared the name. It bears the name of the man that Brandy loves. And still we can't get her on the freaking phone. Brandy? Brandy. Hello? Brandy? <laughs> hey, what's Brandy. up? I mean, it sounds like a fun time. Can you share it with us? Sounds like Brandy. She might be walking good. the town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, she does walk the streets. Why don't you put, put her back on hold? And, thinking and, about the man that uh, she, she used to loved. Love. I know. Yeah. Can somebody uh. can somebody put her on hold and and listen in until she comes back to the phone and tell her to? I mean, I got to tell you right now, she would mm-hmm. not make a fine wife. I was wondering no, that too. Not. Yeah, it's like you got to have better communication skills. Who's yeah. with me? Right, I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm getting a little pissed off at Brandy right, right now. Mm-hmm. I'm so wait, are you? I'm take wait, the let's listen back. for a second. Brandy, well, are you taking back your proposal? Brandy, are you there? She's gone. This right, she's gone now. Did she just flat hang up on us? Now? Oh, she left you. You would propose to her, and she ran away. Dang, bro. Yeah, that this hurts. is why I love the sea. I'll wow. tell you that. That's right why. Now. That's why the sea. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't you. treat you this way. Really, Thank I've you. heard that the sea is a cruel mistress. No, no, mm. that's not true. Mm. Mm. I used to tell stories about the sea all the time. <laughs> you know, my sailor stories. Yeah, but. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> You no. did? Yeah. yeah. People when I when I told my sailor stories, yeah. people could feel the ocean fall and rise. They saw its rage and glory. Really? But I always told the truth. Uh because Lord, I am an honest man. Okay. You know, and I people have... I tell do their best Strange. uh to understand. Thank you. <laughs> like, what an odd story you tell about your relationship with the sea. Man. Well, it's important. It's important to me. It, it, you know, really. My yeah. wife, like my lover, my lady, uh-huh. is the sea. And I can and understand that's why. Kind of creepy. Brandy when you ran think about away <laughs> from you just now. That's probably why you stopped saying the stories. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so I guess we got to wait for somebody yeah. else. Kansas now. City, Darn Kansas it. City, here we come. We need to call some Kansas. more. They got some place. crazy little oh, women uh, there. What have I done? We gotta get, uh, we gotta I'm gonna get, get this one. one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm sorry. get me one. Give me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Love no. that song. <laughs> it's a great one. It is. There it is. And so there it's you have it. Toe tapper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, oh, we, we got, got Brandy. Brandy. Yes. Oh. All right. Hey, Brandy. Brandy. Good golly. Oh, no. Are you serious? Not again. Are you freaking serious? Brandy. Oh, God. There she goes again. She hung up. That was a click. Yeah, she hung up. Oh. She hung up. Man, she is fickle. I, I don't, I'm taking my braided I don't, chain I don't want to break up with her. I, I'm taking it back. I'm taking the locket. Yeah. I'm taking the chain. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm taking my name out of the locket. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll keep I my feel name like, out of the I locket because like... I'm going to give that to some other mm-hmm. some other barmaid. I don't know. Some, I think I think being <laughs> twice burned by brandy, Pat's going to go out to the sea and never come back to land. I don't know that he's going to have another opportunity with yeah, that locket. Right? 
right? Mm, I feel sorry for you, dude. That was tough to witness. Yeah, that hurt. A couple of rejections. Yeah, go From... serve your whiskey and wine. Okay? Right, thank you. We don't need you. Thank we you. Don't need you. That's what I said. Another. You have to ask me twice. <sighs> okay. Sorry, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of more on trivia, we've got this uh, great video from um, <laughs> another place of moronity. What? Yeah, this. Jeff, are you going to let him get away with that? Um, Jeffy, you've talked to this guy, I think, right? Well, you've talked to the. Is this the. Uh, I have no idea who this well, is. Well, these are the Flat Earth people. I, I know that. I talked to Flat Earth Dave. I don't know who Flat Earth Dave. Flat Earth is Dave. he the president yeah, of the Flat Earth Society now? Well, I don't know that he's the president of the Flat Earth Society, but he's a big spokesperson and a proponent mm. for Flat Earth for sure. Uh, this must be those guys because uh, it put out a tweet: ninety-three million miles away, yet clouds go behind the sun. Oh no, we got some uh, evidence. A, play that. That's a good point. Oh, don't play it. Okay, we'll do that in a second here. I mean, Dave's right. We got Connie in uh, <laughs> Kansas City. Hey, Connie. Hi. 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 How are things? Pretty good. Oh, good. Do you, do you yeah. like the ocean? Yes. All right. That's uh, why you, you live in Kansas City. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna Florida, we're, we're gonna ask you four quick questions, and if you uh, don't know the answer, just take a guess, and you can't ask anybody for help. Okay. Okay. All right. Question number one then is: What is green energy? Power source. A power source? Mm. Accept that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. It's right. fine. It's, it is a power source. Yep. It's also a, kind of a combination of blue energy with red energy. It's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you kind of, then you get green energy. Wait, what's yellow energy um, and blue energy? I mean, make? yellow and energy. Yeah, that's what I get meant. Get your blue energy and, straight. And yellow. <laughs> I've never been good at that. Uh, which <laughs> really? state's initials are IA? Iowa. Iowa? Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Nicely done. Wow. Connie? You're making us forget about Brandy. I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> Connie, uh, Memor menorah. A menorah is usually associated with what religion? Oh, I have no idea. No yeah, idea. Nobody knows that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, really? we, we just found out the answer to this. It's um, voodoo. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Voodoo. Yeah, you said? Yeah. yeah it's got to help. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you getting help? I feel like you got Is help. anybody helping you? Yeah, nobody can help. Nope. I'm in my office by myself. Oh. Okay. Do you trust and, her? And what'd you say there at the end? She said Jewish. Jewish. Oh, you did? Yeah, she did. Did you beat, did she beat the? I feel like, yeah, yeah. she beat the yeah. buzzer. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. We'll okay. Nice job. All right. Wow. I take it back. You got to. I felt like she was good somehow, but go good ahead. Good job. I just haven't had much sleep. I went to the Kane Brown concert last night. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, How was it? Us too. What? Yeah, what yeah. concert was it you went to? King Brown. King yeah, Brown. That's the man. one you were at, right? King Brown. Duh. We sure were there. Was. Did you see us? I did not. We I was, were yelling. I was right there. We, we, we were yelling with our hands up in the yeah. air like this. Yeah. And then we were going, us, Connie! <laughs> Connie! No, no, Kane. No. It's, no, we were for we were yelling her name. Oh, for uh, her. Oh, yeah, no, we, we saw her to, down there. You're right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we saw her down there. And my daughter's well, name. It was her birthday. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why you See, were they were yelling us. at you, and I was yelling at Kane. So I, <laughs> so I missed out on that. Us. Okay. <laughs> All right. In Celsius, Dottie, at what temperature does water <laughs> freeze? Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. yeah no, no clue. Yeah. No clue. Yeah. No one does. It's 119 degrees. Before I it freezes. Know that. Yeah. yeah. How, how would know you that. know that? Yeah. <laughs> know I'm, that. Uh, 119 I, um, degrees. I'm a food safety manager, so I should really know it. Yeah, no kidding. Right. right. Yeah, no right. kidding. Sure. So that was your daughter with you? My daughter and my husband. And oh, your husband. Oh, oh okay. No Probably a good thing you didn't see us yeah. then because we were trying to get your <laughs> Get your we we're attention. gonna try to get your attention. I know. Yeah, dang it! Is, well, I didn't realize that was your. Don't husband. you hate I these weeknight concerts, no, though? <laughs> I do. Right? Because then you gotta to be at work at four o'clock. Go to work. Right? Yeah, we're so tired. Because man, man, we went and got some flapjacks afterward. <laughs> and uh, did you guys? I Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Jeffy Same hasn't thing. been asleep yet. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> not, not after the flapjacks. He's got so much in his system. He doesn't need rest. All right. Thanks a lot, Connie. Congratulations uh, on your marriage and, and your child. All right. Thank you. Move Beautiful back. family, right. by the way. Sorry I didn't have the chance to tell you, but you had the good seats and we were way back there. <laughs> I like Connie. Connie was good. Connie was fun.
Yeah. Asia. Asia in Baltimore. Hi. Hello. Hi, hey. Asia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, my name is Montana. <laughs> it's not really, uh, but, okay. uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm just funning you. Uh, all right. We'd like to ask you four quick questions if that's all right. Okay. All right. We're going to ask you these four quick questions. You don't, you can't ask anybody for help. And if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. Okay. Okay. All right. Asia, uh, December 25th is most closely associated with what? Christmas. Christmas. Hello. Exactly right. Uh, it's also Arbor Day on that same day, but a lot of people apparently it gets favor forgotten. Christmas. It gets yeah, forgotten. Christmas. Arbor Day yeah. gets all forgotten. Uh, question number two. Who is AOC? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, uh, thank God. Man. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> she was the librarian on Ghostbusters. Remember her? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch Ghostbusters. Okay. Oh, right. She's in the, the new movie coming out in December, too, so you'll be able to see her yeah. there. Yeah. Ghostbusters okay. with all chicks, right? Is no. That, no. No, it's I mean, a brand new one. I mean, Ghostbusters that are brand it's new. It's a brand new one. With the different The chicks cast. one was not funny. <laughs> <laughs> you actually saw that? Yeah, wow. Not, Did you not really? Good. We of met the guy. it wasn't good. <laughs> it was not oh, good. Oh, man. All right. Question number three. Where would you primarily find kangaroos? Australia. Australia. Yeah, hello. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Her name is exactly. Asia Duh. She's nah, like, duh. <laughs> Australia. What does not that have to do with I don't know yeah, if you know not, this or not. That's not has They're nothing both to do with Shut okay. up. <laughs> uh, if it's four thirty PM in Houston, Texas, what time is it in Wichita, Kansas? Well, I'm saying like seven. About like seven. seven. She said like yeah. seven. So yeah. similar to seven. No, Niner. it's yeah. actually four thirty eight in the afternoon. If it's four oh, thirty really? in oh, Houston, okay. it's four thirty eight in Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, they're about eight minutes ahead. Honestly, Asia, it's a kind of a trick question because Wichita is a weird setup. Yeah, it's there. in its own little place. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Kansas is really flat, and time acts differently in flat spaces. Yep. Are you aware of that? Yep. No, oh, I didn't no. know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Well, Asia, uh, you've been a fabulous contestant. Uh, so good, in fact, we're going to send you the home version of our game, Psychically. And oh. I just did. All right? Okay, thank you. Have a great weekend. Bu- bu- bye-bye now. Oh. All right. What's the score, Jeffy? Three to two. Oh, really? Oh, Kansas City got three? Yeah. I, I missed that. I thought she only got two. No, because she threw. We gave her the. the oh yeah, Jewish, we gave her the one at the, the end. Jewish, yeah. Okay, so it's three to two. I, I threw well, the questions away. What were the two questions she got right, or three questions? Uh, she got Christmas, right? No, 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 no the last lady. Oh, got, the last. She one. got green energy, mm-hmm. Iowa, and uh, oh, Jewish. Thank you. I don't know. My name is Keith. Have you met me? I'm not good with math. <laughs> so okay, three to two Chiefs. And they still haven't played. And the we got the quarter. Ravens' uh, second quarter uh, questions coming up here in a no, second. No, the Chiefs. No, the Chiefs. Second I mean, the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they're going to win. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Uh, so we'll get to that oh, you'd, in a moment. You'd start talking about that video. Yes, that... we got to play that video for you because. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Flat Earth Dave. Is it Flat real? Earth I I don't know if don't it's know okay. from him, but it's right. it's Flat Earth kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, because they believe these things. Here's. Here's some real facts they're about to lay down like on the way you. you say they believe. Hmm. These no, this look at that. Real yeah. facts. Look at that. Look at that. Our sun is small it and, and it here local. So you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see it. Okay. Air, sun. There's, I see clouds. There's clouds. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? It is yeah, interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. I wonder how that can be. How what can be? 93 million miles away, and right. the clouds are going behind it. Look at that. It says, and in front of it, in fact. Huh. It says, our clouds sun. Clouds in front of it, and clouds, clouds behind, behind it. it. Yeah. Right. Look at, read the huh. top. Boy, that's a really strange phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Well, phenomenon. not when you consider it's small and local. That's what it says. Thank our you. sun is small and local. <laughs> Now you have with you. that if it's still I mean, there's more proof it's that still... the earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had an interesting theory, right? And that we just all have a bunch of local sunshine. Is that is that the thing? Is there just multiple suns? No. No. Huh? No. The if sun it's small and local. It just happens to be thirty seven miles from the earth. Yeah. It, it's right? like a clock. It's like a, according to Flat Earth oh, Dave, it's like okay. a clock. So okay. you, you know, the, yeah. the sun just moves around the circle of the flat earth. Duh. Wow. I Duh. I mean, that's so easy. 
is small and you, local. This would be awful. And yeah. for those people who say it's a giant star, I mean, that's so stupid. It's the size it looks like <laughs> when you look at it in the sky. That's the size it actually is. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, so get over this weird 93 mm-hmm. million miles in a super star thing. Okay? It's not. <laughs> it's not. All these distances that they talk about in space. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been had for years. Have been, we've been had. You, you know, they claim the Milky Way galaxy is 180,000 light years across. They claim. They claim that. Whatever. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm just doing Keith math over here. Gotcha. I'll keep talking. 180,000 light years. Multiply 180,000 no, no, by I'm... 6 trillion, and that's how big this uh, galaxy is supposed to be. Ha! It's all right here in local. And they're all teeny little stars. The stars are the size they really look like, too. Okay. <laughs> Just little dots in the sky about 40 miles away. They're local. I mean, okay? Wow. So when you we say it like you're joking. No, I'm not. I'm not joking. Okay. I'm not joking. So when we fly, mm-hmm. right, we're, mm-hmm. we're just 20 miles from the sun? <laughs> yeah. I'll be darn. Yes. How's that work? Well, it's not Jeffy? that hot. The sun's not as hot as they say. Huh. You know what I mean? What you got? Light. Why, why does it get cold up there then? <laughs> I, right? Huh. You're getting closer. You're no, closer. wait a minute. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, because it's closer like closer to the sun. But it's right there. How do we know that it's really that cold? Have you ever gotten outside the plane when yeah, it's 80 you. below? Well, no, you don't. You no, just you see know. the temperature and they're they're lying to you. But wait, I'm, I, you don't know it's that cold. I always no, hear don't. about. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you can just say it, right? Uh, Sticking liars? I'm tired. I'm tired of being lied to, y'all. <laughs> well, I mean that's clear. We've been lied yes. to for years about many things. Uh, well, we including have, including that. Yeah. Uh, right. It just seems like <laughs> if you're within 20 miles of the sun, you should feel it, right? It, it should be hot. Like if if we're feeling it way down here, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to Chris in Kansas City. Hey, Chris. Chris? Chris, Kansas City. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are oh, you there, Chris? No. Chris. Hey, man. Yep. Hi. Hey. Uh, welcome. We're going to ask you four quick questions, if that's all right. All right, sure. All right. You, can't ask, you can't ask anybody for help, and uh, just take a guess if you don't know the answer. All right? Okay. Uh, December 25th is most closely associated with what? Uh, Christmas. Christmas is exactly right. You don't need to say it with that tone. Just uh, answer the question. <laughs> Question number two. Who is AOC? AOC. Mm-hmm. Can't ask for help. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, wow, really? I know. That was terrible. Yeah. Remember the girlfriend? Yeah, she was the girlfriend on Moonlighting back in the 80s. Remember that with uh, Bruce Willis? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it was uh, Bruce and show. AOC, and you wanted yeah, them to yeah, get together so badly. A lot, a lot, a lot yeah. of tension. So they did at the end, finally. Yeah. If you saw, and, the, oh, uh. and she wore the tax the rich. Oh yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, that's a sorry. Lie. <laughs> yeah, finally that tension broke. Question number three, Chris. Uh, yeah. Where would you primarily find kangaroos? Uh, probably in Australia. Probably. Right. Um, or a zoo. Uh, this is a little known fact. They're also very prevalent in Cleveland. Oh, Very really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, a lot of people I've don't never know been that. to Cleveland, so well, there you, you go. Know that. That's why you didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's 4.30 p.m. in Houston, Texas, what time is it in Wichita, Kansas? Uh, uh, oh, 5.30. 5.30? 5.30, Good right. Good guess. Yeah. It's actually 25 oh, to 3. 4.30? Yeah. yeah. 25 yeah. to 3. All right, well. Uh, so you know. it's weird. Yeah. It's close, man. Yeah, it's only uh, where well, you live. Chris, uh, you were phenomenal. And uh, we appreciate your participation. Thanks a lot. Thanks hey, anytime, playing. man. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Call you again then next week. Oh, yeah. Heck, let's call him every week. <laughs> Write his number down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We need to take full advantage yeah, of that. There's no doubt about that. The guy's never even been to Cleveland, though, so do you really want to talk to him again? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Cleveland's a great town. I love Cleveland. I like Cleveland. Yeah. It's nice. I, I last time I was there, I missed the kangaroos, though. You did? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. you got to see the kangaroos while you're there. You got to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where Foreigner isn't, and then you go where the kangaroos are. How far is Akron uh, Akron from uh, Cleveland? uh, Six and a half miles. (laughs) 
I think it's like six and three quarters. Because you know, if you want to get technical it, about okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's less than an hour. See, so you were absolutely right because mm-hmm. you, you've obviously heard of Zippy, Zippy the Kangaroo, who is the mascot for the Akron Zips football team. So you are more accurate than you realize. Why? Uh, that's weird. Yeah. The Zips. Yeah, I just have I, a kangaroo. For right. A, I, I, huh. I mean, they called the Zips because zippers were uh, invented I there, I believe. Uh, in, in Akron. Akron? Oh, yeah, Akron. I'm, I'm pretty sense. sure. But yeah, here's a here's old Zippy. Uh, you are more accurate than you realize. I want to thank this screen for. See, look at that. There, there's the mascot for the Akron Zips. Oh, it's Zippy. Doesn't make any sense, but Does okay. Does not look like a kangaroo. Right. I know <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that. But yeah, there you go. All so, right, so we got right. through. He we was got, right, is the point. We got through an entire <laughs> half. We did. And I think that's good. I think we call it good, right? Absolutely, yeah. We're uh, we are predicting the Chiefs defeating the Baltimore Ravens yes. uh, over the weekend. The Chiefs 5, mm-hmm. Baltimore 2. That's not going to be the score of the game, of course. But we do predict the Chiefs beating the Baltimore Ravens. So there you go. And there remember, have it. The, the Atlanta game is exempt. So clean slate. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As far as uh, college football, who does Missouri I, play again uh, this weekend? Southeast Missouri. Oh, that's right. Southeast Missouri State. Man, you could throw out all the record books yeah, when those two teams get together on the gridiron. First up, too. I mean, first out of the box in the morning. Really? Good, yeah. I what mean, time? 11 a.m. our time. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I know. And it's so always the, the crappy games that are and in the so, morning I now. know. But so do the players. The players like to play early. As a... As a father of a former uh, Division mm-hmm. One football player, waiting around for those late night games, uh-huh. it makes for a long mm-hmm. day. Yeah, I bet. That's what time uh, Oklahoma bet. Nebraska play as well. Eleven. Eleven a.m. on Fox. Mm-hmm. And I long for an eleven a.m. start time. You're not going to get one for a long 9:15 time, bro. Nine <laughs> fifteen Central. I know. Next week, I think I saw it all, and I, I don't know if that will change. But next week, I saw eight p.m. So for yeah. South Florida or no, you're on yeah, Missouri. No, no, yeah. Oh, for, really? For uh, the South Florida game. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got Arizona Provo, right? State this weekend. Uh, South yeah, Florida comes both to these Provo, games are yeah. in. Well, I wish I was. Mm-hmm. Should be able to defeat South Florida, but should be able to beat. We should if we beat Arizona State and go three and zero. This season is going to be a massive success. It sounds like a That's conversation we hear about this time every Shut year. Up. In this, you've room, never heard it before, so. ever. I've never said it. If. I've never if said we beat if so we so. beat Arizona State. We haven't played Arizona State since 1998. I was I still broadcasting said... in Salt Lake City, so I have not said that on this show. So shut up, Keith. Boy, you got me. <laughs> it did, right? Put me down. Yes. Yes, Well, it well did. good luck to your, to your team I mean, you there. win the Thank next you. two games. Yours too. Oh, don't, don't do this. Yeah, we win the next three because after uh, South Florida is Utah State. So then you go 5-0 oh, yeah, oh, are... and oh, headed into Boise State. That'd be Huge. sweet. Sweet. Dude, Boise State game will be prime time then, man. For sure. I mean, that'll be game day. If they keep winning. They've, uh, they lost to UCF, though, first week, which kind of sucked. Uh, yeah, sucks. About that. I man. tell you, if Nebraska can get by Oklahoma somehow, I, they'll be sitting pretty. When was the last yeah. time Nebraska had a big signature win like that? Ooh, it's been a while, right? Maybe Ohio State about 10 years ago. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Really? I, I'd like to see Nebraska come back to life. Well, I mean, they beat Fordham. You you said oh, that's a big right. one, right? Okay, it was so, just I mean, last weekend. They put them in their place. So. Now, it's a couple weeks ago. <laughs> then they put Buffalo down. So so a couple signature wins just in the last couple weeks alone. Uh, good uh, point. Yeah, thank you. I forgot about those. I mean, All right. Well, have a great weekend. We will be back uh, Monday to do it all over again uh, and fix every single problem that we have left. Oh, nice. Yeah. We almost got to them all today, but couldn't quite because of more on trivia. We'll fix that on Monday. Only on the Blaze Radio Network.